A couple of days back, I produced this video. It gives you a rundown of the patch notes for the update that's gone live today. Something DICE hadn't added to those patch notes at that point, however, was a major update around visibility in Battlefield 5. Having spoken to a couple of different developers about this update, it's been in the works for a while, and it's set to massively improve visibility of players against backgrounds, helping them stand out more and alleviate some of those situations where you'd be killed by a player that you had really no idea was there. The gameplay you're watching in the background is of the brand new update that launched today, including the visibility changes, so if you've got a keen eye for Battlefield 5, you might already be able to see a difference. But I'm going to run through the information that DICE has released, so we're all clear on what has actually been tweaked, and why DICE chose to do it this way. New Global Community Manager Ben Walk, who replaced Dan Mitri last week, posted on the Battlefield 5 subreddit and forums last night. Firstly, Ben says that the team didn't want to change things too drastically, as that could have had an overall negative effect by swinging the needle just too far the other way. DICE has had a lot of examples in the past with previous Battlefield games where they go to overhaul something, like the balance of a specific weapon, and they either nerf it into the ground or they make it the best gun in the game. So, it's nice to see that they're taking an incremental approach here, and they're leaving the door open that if these changes don't go far enough, that in another patch in the future, they can change things again. The changes will make soldiers slightly more visible, with clearer distinctions between friendly and enemy players. Friendly players will have a lower level of visibility, so they attract less attention whilst you're looking out for threats. The intent behind these changes is to balance soldier visibility with the camouflage effect that their uniforms have. Many of the options you have in Battlefield 5 offer different camos for different environments, and DICE wants to preserve that option. They shouldn't completely blend in, but they shouldn't completely stand out either with these changes. DICE has also solved several issues where dark clothing on soldiers was being displayed darker than intended in dark areas of maps, and that would allow players to almost completely blend into their surroundings. And the same goes for the other end of the scale as well. Sometimes soldiers wearing bright clothing would start unintentionally glowing in bright environments, so it's nice to see that that has been fixed. Lighting alterations have been made alongside some colour changes to the characters to further improve visibility, and even some map-specific improvements have been made as well. Fiel 652 and Devastation got a lot of attention for being the worst offenders currently in Battlefield 5. A specific fix for soldiers proning and becoming almost completely invisible has been applied as well. The visibility system wasn't working as intended at all here, and now you should see those prone soldiers at the same visibility level as standing soldiers. And lastly, the visibility boost has a fade over distance, so in close quarters, the effect is less profound, and as threats move further away, they're going to be easier to pick out against the background. So that's the blurb that DICE has produced, but what about the changes in action? Well, I decided to play a round on each of the two worst offending maps for visibility, Devastation and Fiel. I wanted to see how much of a difference the changes had made in the place they were supposedly going to affect most. First up was Devastation, and I've got to be honest, things definitely looked much better. Most of the map puts players on dark backgrounds. That gave me a great chance to see what moving soldiers, both friendly and enemy, now look like, and things are definitely clearer for sure. There's none of this white glow around the edges of players at all, like some people were saying was going to be the case with this update, and instead, the map appears to just have more visual depth. Players look like they're now on like a separate layer to the background. That's probably the best way that I can really describe it. There's no stark contrast between these two layers, but the fact they now feel more separated by the changes that DICE has made meant that I could actually track enemies easily and spot movement in darker areas. That gave me a chance to return fire or even get the jump on an enemy. 
One of the developers I spoke to about these visibility changes said that Devastation was used as the test target for the visibility changes, and so it's very likely that this map will be the most improved of them all. Previously dark areas like close to the walls, inside the cathedral around the sea flag, and the upstairs walkways located along the main road between the C and the D flag, and over at the library as well, are now fairer locations for gunfights, because players aren't running around masked under this unrealistic shadow where you can't see them. The lighting of those locations is of course still quite dim, but you're still able to see somebody moving around and standing up over there. This update makes sure that that's the case, and it makes those locations a little bit more active. Moving on now, I want to show you my Fiel gameplay, and I have a really good example to show you right off the bat. Here, an enemy caught me off guard whilst I was searching for them as the last person on a flag after we captured it. And you get a really good look at the visibility changes applied to soldiers because he's standing against a simple background that's very different from the soldier's camo. There's no discernible lighting ring around him. He's not glowing unrealistically. He just simply doesn't flatten against the background when you look at him. And this is probably the best example that I can give you of this visibility change. It's not going to make it so that Battlefield 5 becomes a game where you just can't move or you'll be spotted. It simply makes it clearer to you that somebody is standing right in front of something and then from that you have a chance to return fire or do something about that soldier standing there. Here I managed to kill the guy but he was only using a pistol so had he been using an automatic weapon he probably would have won because he caught me off guard but I at least had the chance to reply with some bullets. If he was standing on a background that was similar to his camo then he wouldn't stand out as much but I would still have noticed the movement a hell of a lot more than I would have before this update was applied. Now, Fiel in general is not going to be an easy map to solve visibility issues on for a couple of reasons. One, the map is mostly a mix of greys, blacks and whites, so it's quite monotone. And two, the soldiers running around mix into that colour palette with greys, blacks, whites and then some muted greens and browns. The visibility updates DICE has done to improve the situation on Fiel have definitely worked. I didn't find myself frustrated that I'd been killed by somebody that I couldn't see, but it isn't ever going to be a 100% fix. That's just because Battlefield 5's art style doesn't lend itself towards good visibility in this environment. If DICE want to completely solve the problem, my guess is that they need to change the overall style of the game, and that would require a lot of work. You'd have to strip back lots of layers of stuff in order to then just completely rebuild it. I'm not sure that's something DICE have the budget to do or the time to do right now, but their visibility fixes have definitely made a positive difference here on Fiel. It's just not quite as pronounced as the changes made on Devastation. And just very quickly, I want to show you these clips as well. This is gameplay on Fiel when the snowstorm rolls in. Now, after the visibility update, gameplay is infinitely better than it was before, and I'd even go as far to say that it's better than the standard normal sunshine weather on this map as well. The storm hides a lot of the lighting that simulates the sunlight on the mountain, and that shows off the improved visibility a hell of a lot more than during normal conditions. Now, it certainly makes the map less visually appealing than it was. It's lost a lot of its shine, but it made me appreciate the changes DICE made, and it focused me a lot more on player movement. Since Fiel is so small, the density of players within your vision at any one time is likely to be higher than most other maps, and having greater visibility made me enjoy the gameplay more. So, overall, I'd have to say that DICE has done a pretty good job at improving the soldier visibility in Battlefield 5. They've increased the chances of you spotting player movement, and that in turn gives you a fighting chance if that movement turns out to be an enemy and they hit you first, or at longer ranges, it gives you a chance to actually see the player that's shooting you, even if you don't end up killing them. If DICE did want to go further, I assume they could do more visibility changes in the future, and Ben's statement earlier on today did suggest that, but I'm not sure they would want to do an entire overhaul of the game's art style and some of those assets in order to completely eradicate the issue. I'm not really sure that's something that is 
actually on the table. Battlefield 5 is using a live service though, so there's potential for big underlying changes if they were likely to improve the gameplay, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. This is definitely a good step in the right direction, but I do think Fiel needs a little bit more love to get it in the same position as Devastation. Let me know what you think of the changes down below in the comments section. Do you think they're enough, or do you think the team needs to go further? Let me know down below. But thank you very much for watching today. My name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.